What up, what up, it's your boy Dan. We're back with another video, and finally, we got you guys some more 2K news. Um, they dropped the 2K. Uh, first off, I want to say they dropped the 2K uh, covers. I'm not about to make a whole video about 2K covers, the 2K cover, it's really not that serious, even though they have multiple per usual. I like the Jason Tatum one, it's probably one of the cleaner ones for me. I like the fact that he's just standing there, you got the crowd in the back. It's not one of those faded in, a lot of stuff going on, colors in the background. I'm cool with those, but the realistic ones, excuse me, are some of the dopest ones to me. Like having them in the middle of the stadium. And yeah, that's dope to me. Anyways, man, we're going to react to All City Live TV. He has finally hit that 100K. I haven't, I haven't actually reacted to him and since... I mean, I think since before he hit 100K, and this guy has deserved it for a long time. The information he gives for, to the 2K community, his realism, the fact that he uh, really goes on strike the right way. He does things the right way towards the game because he wants the game to be better. I personally want the game to be better because we don't have any other basketball game. So if 2K is going to drop basketball, we need to have something that's worth playing. And I appreciate All City for what he does for the NBA 2K community. Dude's dope. If you have not subscribed, please go subscribe. I don't care how big I am. I will always support the channels that have uh, always kept it real and always dropped legit content and worked their ass off. Anyways, after that whole spill, basically we're about to check out Brunny James 2K rating. I actually haven't seen it. I haven't really checked out anything on it. I just kept seeing it on Twitter, so like seeing them talk about what Brunny James... Uh, rating and i'm like at this point i'll check it out because i just actually watched uh my houston rockets put a beat down on the lakers you know i'm a h-town guy so it's you see the texans right there texans rockets strolls it doesn't matter dynamo rock, we rock with them all but um watch the rockets reed shepherd oh man number three pick in the draft looked like the number one pick last night handled Bronny and uh the lakers pretty bad but of course, they were speaking, of course, about Bronny James the entire time. Because, of course, he's LeBron James' son. I get it. It's the bloodline. You got to speak truth about it. But let's see what these ratings look like. Do they look like the amount of uh, opinions that uh, the media has for him? Because uh, if they do, then his, his rating would be probably in the 90s. But let's see. We got a few things to cover. Bronny James, official 2K rating. If you guys had to take your best guess, what do you think 2K is rating Bronny James? Me personally, I would have Bronny James in like the 50s or 60s. Games. And it looks like somebody got the game two months early. We about to get into all the details. Yeah, be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. Load up that clip. I love when you do that. Dude's dope. Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm All City. As always, appreciate you guys tuning in. You know, these guys at 2K, Ronnie 2K, and everybody involved at marketing. There's something like geniuses, man. I know, I know we don't like to commend 2K for the things that they do good, but there's a reason why marketing is 2K's number one line item expense, which we learned in one of 2K's earnings calls. And whenever there's a 2K Damn. rollout, they always give us like these little like tidbits that? of information. Ideally, I would want a lot more information, but 2K, they hold back to the very end. And I think there's something to be said about that because if they felt absolutely good about their product, they'll be pushing that joint on the front end. But instead, they're choosing to talk about overall ratings. And Ronnie 2K sent out this uh, post with an image that says Bronny James official 2K rating. Now the official 2K rating for Bronny James hasn't been released yet, but it's more than likely coming soon. And I imagine 2K, they're gonna spend the next couple of days offering the 2K community all the 2K ratings for some of our favorite players. I'm sure we're gonna see Jason Tatum up real soon. But 2K being 2K with how smart they are with their marketing, they chose to talk about Bronny James overall rating in 2K before they even mentioned Jason Tatum's rating. Jason Tatum, new NBA champion, and he's also on the cover for 2K25. It just goes to show where 2K's head is at. They pretty much put marketing over everything you got a crappy product don't worry we'll sell it for you 2k definitely does that they're very well they're very good at that you're not lying about that all city yeah one thing they can do is market the crap out of some crap <laughs> now i'm not trying to hate trust me i would just prefer to have like gameplay us be able to see what the game is going to look like get an idea of what we're going to see for two all we've gotten is covers and Bronny james writing clearly 
2K25. And player ratings just don't necessarily give us any insight as to what we could expect. And I'm not the only one that's bothered by 2K's rollout. As a creator, I don't necessarily mind making these videos and giving you guys up-to-date information about 2K25. But man, I would want so much more. And I'm not the only one. It looks like the 2K community wants so much more as well. In yesterday's video, I shared what Flight had to say about 2K. And he was upset that we ain't even got a trailer, but you're asking us to pre-order. I would like to reference this post from LOP. That's the part that's killing me. I've seen pre-orders ready for this ready for this game, and I haven't seen one gameplay, one trailer, no anything. So 2K want us to pre-order a game that we technically don't even know exists. They'll no trailer gameplay check exactly. Just summer league pass and VC that's gone gone after animations in a 73 overall. Still with the brown shirt and 2K generics. Absolutely, bro. They on that bull shiggity. Well, 2K want us to pre-order a game that we technically don't even know exists. No trailer, gameplay changes, just Summer League Pass and VC that's gone after animations and a 73 overall. Still with the brown shirt and 2K generics. You would think by now that 2K would update those 2K generics, but it's become a thing and they know that you're going to be inclined to go and waste some of your VC on a pair of shoes. It is what it is. Just know that 2K, they're going to stay 2K. Now I would like to reference this next post that Giuseppe from 124 sent me. He said, I know y'all got answers. How the F bro got the game two months early? And he shared this image. Now I can't confirm whether this is real or fake, but he did send me this image of somebody who's pretty much loading up the game. It looks official, but this is fairly easy to Photoshop. If dude really did get the game, then it's highly likely we might get some NBA 2K25 leaks. And if we do get any information on gameplay leaks for 2K25, rest assured, I'll share with you guys here on this channel. I can't front, a leak would probably help sell the game more than 2K's whole entire marketing department. If any of you guys are a long-standing member of the 2K community, then you've heard the name Scott O'Gallagher. He used to work at 2K, but currently he is the creative director at EA and he's working on the college football game. And I know a lot of you guys are super hyped for EA's college football game. You guys tell me every day under every video in the comment section. I <laughs> All city, one thing he gonna do is he gonna remind you of the bullshit y'all putting in his comment section, man. Right? He said y'all remind him every day under every video. <laughs> Chill the fuck out, basically. I would like to reference this message that the good homie All City Big Hex sent me. He says, you are aware that Kyle Gallagher is the creative director for NCAA Football 25. A lot of hype coming from that game about them listening to the community and he used to work for 2K. Scott O'Gallagher sending out his enthusiasm about the responses to this college football game. He says, I love it, I love it, I love it. The response to these CFB 25 videos are great. Keep it locked. Ain't it a thing of beauty when the devs work with the community and they make educated decisions on the changes needed to address community concerns? I know 2K, they try to do that, but man, when they make a change to address community concerns, they just jack up the whole game. How many times have we asked for a change and they end up making that change but it comes with a stipulation where a lot of other things end up getting ruined the good homie badge plug ended up responding to Scott gallagher's post saying you seem so much happier here referencing being at ea than he was at 2k you know that's how it is man 2k be bullshit I always felt that the devs, they're pretty much handicapped to marketing. I just get a feeling that the 2K devs, they aren't able to fully express themselves and let them creative juices flow. You spend mm -hmm. all those years in school for game engineering and... Then you come to find out that you're pretty much just in a job. You're not a creative, you're not an artist. You're pretty much just being used for your aptitude in coding. In my heart of hearts, I feel- And that's the vibes that 2K gives off every time. I feel like that's the reason why 2K is suffering when it comes to gameplay development. I guess the big question is, will 2K be able to flip this all around for 2K25? And from the response so far from the community, it's highly unlikely, but I'll do my best to remain optimistic, keeping my fingers crossed that 2k25 will be revolutionary it's past due time 2k has been treading lightly for years now and we need a big change if any of you guys are new here you want to stay up to date with the latest information on 2k25 definitely consider dropping a like or a sub leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below i'll catch you guys on the next video thanks all city anyways man Y'all tell me what y'all think about 2K not dropping a trailer gameplay anything so that we know anything about the damn game, but still drop a pre-order. Like, we're supposed to just buy the game without knowing anything. Of course, people are going to buy the game. I might even buy the game.
after I find out a little bit more from my friends. But that's besides the point. Man, what do y'all think about this in general? We're on the road to 3K subs, man. Y'all comment, like, subscribe, and share the video. Share the video. Share the video so we can get this information out there for the people. Let's get it. Let's go. Peace.